Hey guys, this is Tony from Good Japan, Bad Japan. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while because every time I go by a koban, so koban, if you come across these kanji, this is a police box and police boxes are everywhere. So it's not too difficult to get a hold of the police when you need it here in Japan. And always in front of a koban, I see wanted posters. And most recently I was inside a train station and I saw a couple of wanted posters. And so I thought it would be really interesting to share with you who are the most wanted criminals in Japan now and what did they do? And so I'm going to teach you some kanji and I'm going to just kind of walk through what are the big crimes here in Japan. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. This poster that you see four people on, in the upper left-hand corner, you see a red rectangle and the number 300. I'm Maybe you can guess what that is, but that's the reward money. So if you can bring these people in, that's 3 million yen. So if we're just blindly doing an exchange rate, think of it like $30,000 just to get one of these guys. So next to there, it's just... That's the general announcement. We're trying to get these people. And so now let's do a deeper dive. I'm just going to go from uh, left to right. But first, let's start with the guy on the left. And I will break down what it says by his face and under his face. All right, so let's break this down. If you look to the left of the person's face, that's the crime that the person committed. And so you see some consistency. And I want you to think to yourself, what's the worst crime anybody could commit anywhere? Those two characters say Satsujin. So Satsujin. Satsu, that's the character for murder or kill. And then the second character is person. So Satsujin. Murderer. Okay. So this person's name, so right underneath the heads, you, you're going to have their names. This guy's name is Kogure Hiroshi. And then under there, where you see 51, the character next to that is the character for age. So he's 51 years old. He's 170 centimeters tall because it's Japan. People do height by centimeters. And then you've got H8 and some kanji. And that took me a moment to realize because... Each person had an H, one person had an S, and the numbers were different. But the kanji, the first kanji is year, and then the two kanji next to it as a pair are satsue, and that's picture. So year of the picture, H8. And so I'm going to share this with you, and I'm actually going to put a link to it. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. These are the emperor's birth years. So sometimes people will, you know, in America, we do things by our date of birth when you were born. But in Japan, in some, some cases, they do things by the emperor's birth year. And so you have H8. And let's look at this chart. Okay. H8 is 1996. So that's the date of this picture. This picture is from 1996. And there's no more recent picture of this person. And I want you to think about that. His age is 51, but look at his face. He he would look really young for 51, wouldn't he? No, th this is just the most recent photo, I imagine, that the police have of this guy. And you're going to see that with some of these, these pictures. You, you look at the Heisei or the Showa era. This is the emperor's birth year. You look at those dates and you see that they date back to the 1990s or the early 2000s. They're still looking for these guys. And that kind of blows my mind because Japan is an island. And if they're still in Japan, they must be really good at hiding. Now, um, I was going to stop myself there. Okay. But just to finish it off, underneath that data, you can see TEL and a phone number. So as you can imagine, this is just who you need to call to give information if you somehow manage to find this guy. Okay, going down the list, 
the next two guys, same crime. You can see Satsujin next to their face. And the guy on the right stands out because he's got a lot more kanji next to his name. And so I'm going to do my best to pronounce this correctly. So Satsujin. So there's murder involved. But the following says Kyoki Junbi Shugo. And I, I had to look that up. This is a crime that's committed as a part of a group. So when this murder happened, he wasn't alone. He wasn't acting alone. But as a part of the group, he was responsible for the murder of someone. And so that's why he stands out as opposed to the other people, because um, he didn't act alone. And if you look underneath his name... There's a whopping 6 million yen for a reward. That's twice as much as any of the other guys on this particular sheet. So what he did must have been pretty heinous. And, you know, group crime. And what I find interesting about what is not on here is I don't see the kanji for Gumi or Kumi. I, I don't see a Yakuza affiliation noted on here or on any of these people, just straight murder. And I don't know if that is by design. All right, so the page next to those four killers, here's one more page, and you can see there's only one person on here with a bounty on his head, and that bounty is significantly less. It's one million yen. It doesn't diminish the crimes that the people on this page have committed, but I guess by comparison, there are a few murderers that Japan wants to catch more. But just a quick run through because there are some new kanji here. The guy on the far left, his name is Rin Shoei. He's 47, 178 centimeters, so same height as me. Goto Satsujin. So Goto is mugging, theft, usually by force. And so what you need to imagine is just a, a theft in which the victim was killed. So just a mugging and the other person was killed. Underneath the first three kanji say Aichi Ken. Aichi Prefecture. This is where Nagoya is, if you've ever heard of Nagoya. So some precincts, some prefectures are specifically looking for specific people. The person underneath him, same crime, murder. Let's go. Next one, uh, 43 years old, Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi, yeah, Suyoshi, murder. Now, the guy underneath him, this is, this is interesting because there's a lot of kanji here. His name is Hishikawa Tatsumi. He's 44 years old, 158 centimeters. And, and I'm just making sure I spell out the details so you know exactly who I'm talking about on this list. Satsujin, so you can tell it's murder, but the five kanji under his name refer to a violation of Japan's gun and blade laws. It doesn't specifically say that murder was done with a gun or a knife or a sword, only that the gun and blade laws were violated. So I found that to be interesting. Okay, first row, third guy, Goto. And then I, Kis, Kisujin, I, I didn't look up the pronunciation for those two kanji. But the meaning of the first one means to injure. So this was a theft in which the other person was harmed, not killed but harmed. And underneath him, murder, okay? Now we've got the far right column where the two big standouts are. You've got Mia Uchi Yudai, 45 years old, Goto, and then those last two kanji, the, the very last one means, you know, damage, hurt, harm. And the third one, I believe, is attack. So just similar to some of the others, it doesn't, it doesn't say murder, but it does say theft and harm. And I'm surprised that he's got the bounty and the other person, the person next to him doesn't. Now, 
these could be different prefectures and maybe one prefecture wants a guy more than another one and they're willing to pay. I just found that interesting. So 1 million yen for this guy from Yamanashi, and I guess uh, Yamanashi prefecture is maybe where the crime was committed or those are the police looking for him. Now, the last one, this is a black and white photo. You can tell how old this crime is. You see S48. So we're still talking emperor's birth years and S48, I, I need to... I've got this pulled up here. Let me, give me a second. S48, 1973. The most recent picture for this, this outstanding criminal is from 1973. Kirishima Satoshi. And so this guy, he, <laughs> Baku Hatsumono Torishirabe. The first three Kanji say it all. Baku Hatsumono. Explosives. So so that's that's the crime that this person committed. Something dealing with explosives or bombs. So so many of these people, if you just look at the Heisei dates, these are just outstanding criminals. And these are Japan's most wanted. Any comments? Any questions? What do you think? Uh, what I find interesting is that you've got murder and you've got theft resulting in bodily harm or theft resulting in murder. One instance of explosives, but I want you to think about the other types of crimes that are out there that aren't on these posters. Feel free to comment on that too. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this very educational. There's a QR code here. And I believe it takes you just to a police website. So if you want to explore and have some fun, go right ahead. I hope you hit that like button. I hope you subscribe and I'll see you in future videos.